hi folks welcome again in this video uh, we gonna do some effort to improve our microsoft secure score in office 365 hi my name is adnan rafiq and i'm the author of this vlog please do subscribe my channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon for future updates thank you so as i mentioned in my previous video uh kind of give you a high level about the secure score and in this episode we'll do apply some policy some best recommendation or best practices and then take it score to the next level and see how the impact of these policies so we start uh, with the most common ones here it says um, one of the most common one and the known one is the require mfa for all users so require mfa for all users let's take a look and at the same time when we plan on applying this policy uh, it protect against password tracking and account breach and it also do apply and meet the requirement for federal regulations the GDPR NIST and ISO so if you need to meet any of these compliance compliance control is one of the action you will need to take now we can start enabling the multi-factor authentication using office 365 interface here's the option you click on that button and it will redirect you to this page where you can see all these accounts are disabled as we speak what we can do is that we can enable it and then improve the score so you can take this one out because i'm doing the lab so i don't want to be authenticated again and again uh, that's being said I can enable it from here and also there are settings uh, Their accounts are there you can apply and then it will Have those apps to be signed out and signed back in it's the best practices But again, you need to communicate with your user before you make any one of these setting changes or actions Communicate very well with your end user not to panic them and then here we go and it will have us enable can enable multi-factor authentication since it's a cloud-based tenant there is no hybrid so there are different requirements you will have to look into that so here I'm gonna enable it and yes and now I'll show you from end users how it's gonna look like so I'm gonna sign out um, here I'm gonna log in as as a user here and the user will have to then register uh, as a, uh, a register with your these details like a phone number and text message so enable so there are two types of authentication for the multi-factor either a user can select uh, authentication by phone so it, in case a call will be made from the service or they can have a mobile app as an authenticator app so it's your personal choice or user's choice basically they have two options i prefer this one but again and you select your region in my case i'm gonna put my number and then i'm supposed to get a code and then as soon as the user receives the code within few seconds they can apply the code here and then uh, needs to be verified and as soon as the verification is done and then this can be copied uh, into the authenticator app which if it's this being used which I'm not but again let's see uh, now I'm signed in so what I'm gonna do is that again yeah exactly I was expecting this so sign in with another user which is this user in this case I'm gonna sign in with that and yeah so what I'm gonna do sign out completely and use a new private window and now what's it's gonna do is that it's already sent me a text so without having the text I cannot sign in so now I'm putting this code and as soon as I'm putting the code I'm able to sign in using my MFA and this will definitely increase the security score so as we have just noticed we have uh, applied and enabled the multi-factor authentication and I would expect this will reflect maybe in 24 hours or so uh, as we speak it's not reflecting right away which is uh, 
expected it's not gonna immediately show here and now if you look at here it's still showing require mfa for all user however i have implemented uh, for all the users so if you come back to the user active users and then if you go in there it will show us multi-factor enabled for all of these users that being said one more improvement towards security and protecting our users account by enabling multi-factor authentication i hope you like this video and in my next video as we keep adding more and more um, security policies um, to this uh, tenant uh, you will see how the secure score will keep improving that being said, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Do subscribe my channel. Do not forget to click on the ring uh, bell icon for more future updates. Thank you and bye for now.